Howdy peeps, today we have the Tuca laser here. Uh, they were nice enough to send us an air assist, a honeycomb, and a whole new enclosed laser. Huge box, very, very excited. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the sucker unpacked, we're gonna put it together, uh, we're gonna see exactly how it does, and we're gonna start right now. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and get them unboxed. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, cut the box open. It's a little warm out here in the shop, so just trying to do the best I can. Go ahead and pop them open. And there we go. Perfect. Another very well packaged material, packaged machine. Like, look at this. This is really nice. Good foam. Um, this is nice, bro. Look at that. These are obviously the, uh, the parts for the side panels. And you see they're kind of pre-assembled somewhat. Super duper cool. Makes me really happy. Um, so those are pre-assembled. Um, there's that. This appears to be the front, front piece. Uh, here are a lot of the rails right here. A lot of the extrusions on a lot of the rails. Um, I think we're just going to put this whole thing to the side. Yeah, because there's there's like the gas, that's the gas shock and all that. That's nice. Super exciting. All right, next up is what we got. As this is, I'm guessing the top or the back. This is this side up, so this is the top, I think. Nonetheless, we'll get we'll get it figured out once we put it all together. More of this uh, this really nice foam material. My daughter's gonna love that. Here we go. This is the back, and this is this is the front panel. more foam. Now, let's see if you can see everything here. Uh, this is more of the good stuff. Go ahead and tilt that up a little bit so you can see what's going on. Wow. They went all out on this user guide. And construction parts pack. Wow. I gotta look at this. Consumable parts. Oh, it's a pack of wooden stuff. Oh. Look at that. Look at there. That's metal, wood, and some various things. That is that's check that out. That is so cool. I love how that's packaged. The user guide. I gotta check out. Like that's I don't know that this isn't the best packaging I've ever seen on a laser engraver. Like it's it's beautiful. Look at that manual. That manual is top notch. Look at that. That is nice. That is a nice manual. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the user guide stuff to work in there. Nice big chunky brushless fan. A brushless fan. That is not something you usually see because usually companies do not do brushless fans. Um, the the exhaust module, exhaust uh, tubing. This is the um, the vents for said uh, exhaust. Oh wow, it's just so much cool stuff. This must be the AC adapter. Yeah, AC adapter. Wow, holy. They have outdone themselves on the hardware kit. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that hex. Look at that. Mm. 
Look, that is insane. There's uh, USB keys. There's all kind of laser focused stuff. This is this is an impressive kit. Based on just first reactions, like it's nice. Um, here's the power brick for it. Regular old 120 volt uh, American power. And we'll go ahead and look at this. Uh, this might be the laser module. Oh no, those are hinges. Ooh, very heavy duty hinges. That's crazy. Okay. I'm running out of room a little bit. This is the laser module. They sent a 20 watt, which is an insanely powerful laser module. Um, holy cow. Uh, glasses, they almost all of them come with glasses, but I don't think you even need them with the orange, um, the orange pieces. You'll want to pay close attention when you're getting this out because there's some metal off offsets in here that you're going to need. I'm guessing these are the legs. Yeah. They're a little tough to get out of there. But yeah, metal legs. And I think that's all that's in there. Ah, there's the other metal leg. Those are really nice. That rubber is that rubber feels good. Wow. And then, wow. All right, let me figure out how to get this guy out. Wow. That. That's the stuff right there. That is a beautiful chunk of aluminum. It's, and it uses a USB-C to the laser. That's crazy. Wow. Look at that frame. That frame is very high quality. Hmm. This thing blows everything else out of the water. The only one that's made similar is maybe the lock brick. Look at this beautiful, absolutely beautiful unit. So smooth, so beautiful. That is, that's a work of art. That's what that is, man. That thing's a work of art. All right, so even, so after I packaged everything pretty much fully, this is this build quality is insane on this thing. Look at the freaking tools you get with it. Like, look at that. That is the best assembly L wrench I have ever seen. I am thrilled about this thing. This thing's going to be amazing. And I cannot wait. Like, look, that's, that's so pretty. Love it. All right, we're going to start assembling this tomorrow, probably. We're going to go ahead and breeze through this assembly process real quick. First off, you attach the legs to the unit. They simply screw in very easily. Next, we're going to install the laser module. It connects via USB-C and uses two screws to tighten the connection. Next, we build the enclosure by assembling the sides, back, and rear top. This process uses a ton of screws and results in a very stable and strong enclosure. Next up, we mount the hinges and the front door. This takes a little time and patience, but is a very straightforward process. Once the enclosure is complete, we can lift it into place and use the brackets to attach it to the laser cutter. Lastly, we route the air assist to the back of the unit. If I had any criticism at all of the unit, it would be in this area. I wish the air assist was pre-routed to avoid potential issues in the future. Once assembled, we're now ready to cut. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and attempt to plug this thing up for the very first time ever. And there we go, nice little pleasant sound, green. Mm. Very interesting. Uh, ooh. That fan is absolutely kicking. That is the strongest 
fan I have ever seen. Holy. Yeah, so we're working. Um, the software is actually um, web based, which is really cool. So we have our USB cable, and we're just going to connect it. Um, we're going to disconnect our old laser. That's a real short cable, it's not about four feet. Uh, but we can make that work with what we got. And there we go. Now, I don't know if it needs any drivers or anything like that. We're just going to figure that out. We're going to try to connect it um, over here. We're going to try to hit connect device. And it actually does see it. So we're going to connect. And we're going to... Uh, let's see, it doesn't really know what it is. Or anything. Yep, three millimeter base wood. We're just gonna have it cut a circle. How do you know what size any of this is? Okay, so fifty millimeters by okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do we are going to uh, put a piece of three millimeter base wood in there. Let's see if we can cut it. We're going to go ahead and shut the, shut the thing. And we're going to frame it and make sure we got a piece. So now it's going to go up here. It's going to frame it. We can make that way smaller. My assumption is that we're going to need to focus on the, uh, the thinner material. So we're going to need to... Uh, Take this, move it, lock it in, and that should focus us. So we'll frame, which is going to recenter. Yeah, it's going to fuss because I didn't shut this. Try it again. Okay. The software is not bad. There we go. Okay. Now let's move you up. All right. First, cu first cut with the uh, with the toka. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. It's gonna it's gonna go check it. It's gonna recenter. It's gonna come back down here, and we're gonna cut through it. We're doing 250 millimeters per uh, per minute, or yeah, 250 per minute, and it looks like it's gonna cut right on through it, no problem. Now, let's see if we cut through. Almost. And that was, that was a, yeah. Right on through. One pass at 250. And it cut through almost perfect. So we do two passes at 300. I think that's going to be a better way. So we're going to do that. We're going to do two passes at, uh, we're going to do two passes at 300. Let that do that. Smooth as butter. Oh, it didn't, it didn't like me moving. <laughs> All right, guys. So this this software is really neat. Um, I, I don't have a screen capture, so I'm just doing the best I can on my phone. But we're gonna import an SVG, and we can zoom it out, and we can go ahead and just do this and put it right where we want. And this may be a little big. Uh, yeah, 183. We're gonna do that like 100. We're gonna do 100 millimeters, 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters, and we're gonna put it right off in, probably right about there, and we're gonna frame it, and then it's gonna go over here.
Gonna touch off the back. Oh, it needs that down. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Uh, we're actually gonna hit uh, stop. We're gonna frame it. That's what we're gonna touch off. That's gonna show us exactly where it's drawn. We're gonna move it up just, just a little bit. So we're gonna take it, we're just gonna move it up just a hair. And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna hit the frame again and watch it. Now look and see where it's gonna be. It's gonna be right there on the edge, just like what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set that up as a cut. And where you do that is you put it right there, and then you'll go over here to where this is, and we're gonna turn line to cut. And we're gonna do. Uh, it should you give it a second. Sometimes it takes a second to update. See, there we go. Now it updates. And instead of 500, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do 350, and we're gonna make sure it cuts through. So we're gonna do two passes, and then we'll hit start. It'll just it'll go for it. All right, guys, so I'm learning this uh, stuff. You can also, let me go ahead and back up. Uh, when everything's grouped, you can do this. You can ungroup. Ungroup. And that'll break everything into separate. Um, so we are going to do that one right there. That one. Uh, we're going to delete all those. Delete that. That. Right, we're going to try that one. We're going to put it right here. And that is going to be cuts. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to do 350 and one because I think it'll get there. We're going to frame it. Okay, touch off. So we're going to have to move it down a lot. We're going to take it, we're just going to drag it straight down, and then we're going to frame it again. Let's see if we get there. Yep. Yep, we're there. Okay. So cool. All So guys, what do I think about this laser? I think it's freaking awesome. This, uh, the Tuca L2 is a, an amazing laser cutter, especially for the price. Uh, it's, it's just feature packed. The build quality is absolutely top notch. The assembly's great. Uh, the instructions are good. The software is almost as good as Lightburn, I feel like, and it comes with everything. It's a web-based software, very nice. Uh, the quality is fantastic. Granted, um, I'm not an engraving person, but my engraving turned out, it was okay. Uh, but I, I just, I have to work on my settings. That's all it is. But for a cutter, holy crap. Like, it, the cut's fantastic on this thing. Um, I cannot wait to keep using this. This is going to be my main laser going forward. And uh, as always, I'll have a link in the description where you can find this guy. And like I said, it's a, it's a perfect beginner to intermediate laser. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more sublimation, laser cutting, CNC, and maker content, and peace guys, love y'all.